Hey there, folks. Uh, this is your rather tired reporter. Uh, because I'm tired because uh, I was at a convention last weekend. Uh, VCon. VCon rocks. I had tons of fun, went to lots of neato panels. Uh, slept remarkably well, especially considering I wasn't in my own bed or nothing. Uh, booze probably helped there a little. Yay, muscle relaxant. And overall, I had a great time. I had a phenomenal time. I had a couple of small social anxiety moments when I was at the, uh, exploring the madness of the Montreal room party. Uh, apparently in Quebec, gin is a really, really big deal. I've never been into gin, uh, and I've never really been one for rum. I'm a, I'm a vodka drunk myself. I love vodka. Especially absolute. To me, rum and gin are just cocktail ingredients. Uh, one of the, one of the, the many varieties of gin there, though, did come with an awesome story. That there was a northern um, group of natives, Inuit, northern Cree, you know, sort of hard to tell the difference sometimes. And they, uh, they started a make work project, you know, a work project, uh, because they realized that they had juniper bushes. So they figured, why not make gin? Juniper's what makes gin gin. Where the flavor comes from, and so they they uh, did it, and they made thirty thousand bottles in their in their first run, and they uh, you know they went to a a Quebec liquor store in order to try uh, to you know to try and sell their thirty thousand things, and they sold thirty thousand bottles in three hours because everybody who tasted this basically bought as many bottles as they could carry and then went and got some friends so they could carry more so then they made a batch of 300,000 bottles that sold out in three weeks so now they've got production going all the time at maximum capacity uh, they're doing quite well for themselves and the marvelous cherry on the Sunday of this success story is, finally, Indians are making money selling fire water to white people. I love that story. I, I love it when, when, when uh, you know, food and drink comes with a story, really. Yeah, I just like stories, really. Anyhow. But yeah. I drank some, I chatted with people I don't know personally, I made people laugh, which is always great. I'm a funny guy. And, uh, in general, I had a, I had a great time. Uh, I didn't even have some of the weird sleep issues I've had before, uh, where I would not sleep well the previous night, and then I'd be at panels, and I'd be trying really hard to pay attention, and just be sleepy. It's like, eh, I wish I was in bed, but I, I want to be at this panel. So yeah, great con. Uh, I have two conventions a year, that and Vancouver, the furry convention. Vcon's just a science fiction convention. And, uh, the only bad part is that there's always some post-con sadness, because now you have to go back to reality, and reality is not like a small town full of nerds. <sighs> it's like Boxing Day Blues. Oh well. Uh, I guess that's all for me for tonight. I will talk to you nice people again tomorrow. Bye bye